Ovarian cysts are typically fluid-filled lesions on the ovaries. The makeup of them and the findings of them vary greatly based on their cause. And so some have a bit of a solid component. Older ones are calcified up calcifications. You'll have cysts that have what we call septations or divisions inside. And again, it'll vary greatly in size as well. Most ovarian cysts have no symptoms actually. They can get large enough where they cause pressure or discomfort. Uh, they get really big where they actually cause bladder or bowel symptoms as far as compression and pressure there as well. When they rupture, they can cause pain when they leak out. And sometimes when they rupture, they'll bleed a bit as well and they can get irritation from that as well. They are exceedingly common. Actually, anyone who has ovaries and who is ovulating will create a cyst at least once a month from ovulation. So everyone with ovaries who's again of ovulation age will have a cyst. The cause of ovarian cysts is a very broad topic, uh, mainly because there are several different types of ovarian cysts and therefore they're caused from different things. The majority of ovarian cysts are ovulatory or follicular, which means related to ovulation. We have uh, germ cell cysts called dermoids, and they are there basically from conception and they kind of grow over time. We have ovarian cysts as far as um, cyst adenomas, which are benign cysts that grow really large after menopause typically. Uh, or in that age category. And so again, there are many different types and causes of cysts. So ovarian cysts are very rarely dangerous. If they were rupture and bleed and continue to bleed, that can be an issue. Ovarian cysts increase the risk of what we call ovarian torsion or when the ovary twists on itself. And that depends on the size and type of cyst we're talking, but uh, that can cause loss of an ovary. Majority of cysts don't have what we call malignant potential, which means they don't turn into cancer or become anything malignant but there are some rare cysts that can do that as well. So ovarian cysts are diagnosed on imaging. Uh, there's several different imaging modalities or types. The best one for ovarian cysts overall is ultrasound because they're fluid filled and the ultrasound's best at giving us details for fluid filled structures. On history and on clinical presentation, there, you know, there are things that will suggest the cyst, but you need an image of the diagnosis. So the good news of the ovarian cysts is they really have to be removed or treated. Uh, again, the nature of them, the majority of them being ovulatory means that they're self-resolving, that they go away on their own. There are exceptions. Again, there are cysts with uh, atypical characteristics, a solid component. There's a lot of divisions or something that just worries us about the look of them because there are ultrasound criteria for cysts. Also, uh, size kind of varies depending on age. A simple ovarian cyst of six centimeters in someone who is 30 years old, uh, we tend to follow versus the same cyst in someone who's six years old, I would recommend removal. The odds of spontaneous resolving a cyst kind of goes down as uh, we get older. Very rarely do you have to go to the emergency room department or any kind of emergency care for ovarian cyst. So one of the reasons people would go to the emergency room department for ovarian cysts is if they rupture for say. Uh, again, most of that is supportive care, which is pain control, and that pain subsides over about a week or so after the rupture. The pain can continue on if the cyst is bled or is bleeding. Uh, and that'd be one of the few times where emergency care is required. Ovarian cysts really need to be removed. Uh, again, there are certain examples as far as size or suspicious features that we do recommend resection. Overall, they tend to, they're self-limiting and self-resolve, so the vast majority of ovarian cysts don't need to be treated. Ovarian cysts rarely affect fertility because again, the nature of the majority of them is self-limiting because they're ovulatory. There are examples such as endometriomas from endometriosis on the ovaries that can cause fertility problems, and they may need to be recited or cleaned up. We also have ovarian cysts that rarely uh, produce estrogen, and those can affect ov uh, ovulation and fertility as well. By and large, ovarian cysts don't affect fertility. For patients who are symptomatic from ovarian cysts, again, uh, it's important to reach out to the healthcare provider because again, they're only diagnosed on imaging. Again, majority of these are hard to kind of catch because by the time you image them, they have either resolved or they're gone. The good news for those is they, would, they wouldn't require treatment anyways. Patients have recurrent ovarian cysts. Again, we tend to talk about all these depression and things that can help prevent that. And the ones that don't self-resolve are the ones that pick up on imaging.